Hi everyone welcome back to my channel, today I will explain about Paimon. Paimon is the ninth spirit of the Ars Goetia and the king of hell that is the most obedient to Lucifer. Paimon is depicted as a man with a beautiful face, wearing a precious crown, and riding a dromedary. Before him often goes a host of demons and ghouls with the shape of men, playing trumpets, cymbals, and any other sort of musical instruments. He has a great voice and roars as soon as he arrives, speaking in this manner for a while, until the conjurer compels him and then he answers clearly the questions he has asked. History Fall from Heaven Hyman was an angel that resided in heaven, either belonging to the Order of Dominions while others say the Order of Cherubim. He was among the angels that was the most captivated by Lucifer's music, giving awareness to the morning star via attempting to match the notes of his instruments with Lucifer's singing. Lucifer, while impressed, regardless did not pay that much attention to Paimon due to his pride but Paimon remained loyal. As a result of being captivated by Lucifer's power, beauty, and mind he was unsurprisingly on Lucifer's side during the war in heaven, only to be defeated by the angel Hajal. He was cast down to hell alongside all other rebel angels. He was present at pandemonium during Lucifer's rally, officially declaring himself as the most loyal servant of Lucifer. Because of his loyalty and overall usefulness to Lucifer, Paimon was elected a king of hell and joined the musical choir of hell that sings Lucifer's glory. Great King Being a mighty king of hell, Paimon was given 200 legions of demons under his rule. He is said to rule 25 100 200 legions of spirits, some of which are of the order of angels and the rest powers. Much like most other powerful demons, he is his own band of demented satanic worshippers who go to great and unholy lengths to have him manifest in the material realm. His worshippers want him to manifest in the mortal world, so he can make them wealthy and knowledgeable. Hyman is also said to behave much like a traditional genie where he would grant the conjurer a wish but the conjurer in question must be specific in their wish for Paimon could easily twist the order. When the conjurer invokes this demon he must look towards the northwest, for there is where he has his house, and when Paimon appears he must be allowed to ask what he wishes and be answered, in order to obtain the same from him. Personality Hyman is an extremely unrelenting opponent, in both his manipulation and hostility towards humans. He maliciously inflicts severe psychological, physical and spiritual torment upon his victims, including reconstruction of traumatic events, as well as horrifying visions and nightmares. Hyman is full of energy. Loud noises and bright lights tend to make him more active. He is can also be surprisingly very colorful and very friendly. Out of all the Goetia demons, Paimon has some of the strongest loyalties to Lucifer. He has an unnaturally loud voice and when continuing speaking at such ear-splitting volume the summoner has to command Paimon to alter his speech in order to understand him. Paimon teaches all arts, philosophy and sciences, and secret things, he can reveal all mysteries of the earth, wind and water, what the mind is, and everything the conjurer wants to know, gives good familiars, dignities and confirms them, binds men to the conjurer's will. If Paimon is sighted alone, some offering or sacrifice must be done, and he will accept it, then two kings called Bebal and Abalam will go to him together with other spirits, often twenty-five legions. But these other spirits do not always come unless the conjurer call upon them. Great caution must be taken in the conjuration of Paimon as he is able to bring undesirable and dangerous spirits as well as the chaste and honorable. He can reveal answers to such mysteries as the nature of the earth, the location of the abyss, and the origin of the wind. 
He can bestow dignitaries and provide familiars against enemies while binding anyone resisting him in his own chains. Hymen in the Lesser Key of Solomon Hymen is the ninth spirit described in Goetia or the Lesser Key of Solomon. The ninth spirit in this order is Pymen, a great king, and very obedient unto Lucifer. He appeareth in the form of a man sitting upon a dromedary with a crown most glorious upon his head. There goeth before him also an host of spirits, like men with trumpets and well-sounding cymbals, and all other sorts of musical instruments. He hath a great voice, and roareth at his first coming, and his speech is such that the magician cannot well understand unless he can compel him. This spirit can teach all arts and sciences, and other secret things. He can discover unto thee what the earth is, and what holdeth it up in the waters, and what mind is, and where it is, or any other thing thou mayest desire to know. He giveth dignity, and confirmeth the same. He bindeth or maketh any man subject unto the magician if he so desire it. He giveth good familiars, and such as can teach all arts. He is to be observed towards the west. He is of the order of dominations.13 He hath under him two hundred legions of spirits, and part of them are of the order of angels, and the other part of potentates. Now if thou callest this spirit Pyman alone, thou must make him some offering, and there will attend him two kings called Labal and Abali, and also other spirits who be of the order of potentates in his host, and twenty-five legions. And those spirits which be subject unto them are not always with them unless the magician do compel them. His character is this which must be worn as a lamin before thee, etc. Pyman also appears in the following grimoires, Book of Incantations, Munich Manual of Demonic Magic, Clavis Inferni, The Discovery of Witchcraft, Key of Solomon, The Magical Calendar, The Book of Spirits, The Book of the Office of Spirits, The Grimoire of Pope Honorius, The Book of Abramelon, The Book of Oberon, Pseudomonarchia Daemonum, and Dictionnaire Infernal. Hymen in the Pseudomonarchia Daemonum. Hymen is more obedient in Lucifer than other kings are. Lucifer is Hera to be understood he that was drowned in the depth of his knowledge. He would needs be like God, and for his arrogance he was thrown out into destruction. Of whom it is said, every precious stone is thy covering, is each. 88. Hymen is constrained by divine virtue to stand before the exorcist, where he putteth on the likeness of a man, he sitteth on a beast called a dromedary, which is a swift runner, and weareth a glorious crown, and hath an effeminate countenance. There goeth before him an host of men with trumpets and well-sounding cymbals, and all musical instruments. At the first he appeareth with a great crea and roaring, as in Circulo Salomonis, and in the art as declared. And if this Pyman speak sometime that the conjurer understand him not, let him not therefore be dismayed. But when he hath delivered him the first obligation to observe his desire, he must bid him also answer him distinctly and plain a lie to the questions he shall ask you, of all philosophy, wisdom, and science, and of all other secret things. And if you will know the disposition of the world, and what the earth is, or what holdeth it up in the water, or any other thing, or what is abyssus, or where the wind is, or from whence it cometh, he will teach you abundantly. Consecrations also as well of sacrifices as otherwise may be reckoned. He giveth dignities and confirmations, he bindeth them that resist him in his own shen, and subjecteth them to the conjurer. He prepareth good familiars, and hath the understanding of all arts. Note, that at the calling up of him, the exorcist must look at towards the northwest, by cause there is his house. When he is called up, let the exorcist receive him constantly without fear, let him ask what questions or demands he list, and no doubt he shall obtain the same of him.
and the exorcist must be where he forget not the creator, for those things, which have been rehearsed before of Pyman, some sigh he is of the order of dominations, others sigh, of the order of cherubim. There follow him two hundred legions, partly of the order of angels, and partly of potestates. Note that if Pyman be cited alone by an offering or sacrifice, two kings follow him, to wit, Bebal and Abalam, and other potentates, in his host are twenty-five legions, by cause the spirits subject to them are not all wise with them, except they be compelled to appear by divine virtue.